millennials. People yeah, just like to attack Gen Z all the time. Every day, Gen Z, Gen Z. What is the truth, though? On Twitter, you're not your word. Ah, this Gen Z just resigned. What do you like about us as millennials, like our generation? I feel like you guys, I don't like they paved the way though. In yeah, I was gonna, that's if they didn't exactly start gonna softening say. stuff, I feel like I would have picked it up. Yeah. So I'll say, yeah. They the might not be as loud yeah. as we are, they're but lenient. they did stuff and they set the way yeah. for us to be like, right, okay, we can do it. I can do it too. Yeah, mm-hmm. This is where Lagos meets London. Where Peckham boys chill in Osaka, London. As Moritala Mohammed, Heathrow is, on his, is where London Bridge links Todd Milan Bridge via Coast. This is where Lagos meets Hi guys, and you Timmy, what's up? Welcome ah, to another... Wait, 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 where did you get that? What? That intro. Ah, we switch it up all the time. No, like, no, that's, I literally wrote that you? down. I swear to We're God. We're sick today. I swear to God. <laughs> We're on it today. So, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I don't, oh. so it won't be as if I'm capping. Let me show, let me show you. <laughs> I, I mean, didn't even show. have that. You can share in your life. What does, what does this say? Which one? Hey, you tell me, how are you guys doing today? Can you see? Yeah. Ah! Like, like, that, that is mean? mad. That like, just, my guys. My what's up? My people. My people. My people's them. Cold. <laughs> yeah, so Alex, sorry I interrupted. Let's go back it's into okay. it. Hey, you tell me, what's up? And you are on another episode of Lagos Meets London. As usual, it's your favorite girl, Missy Alice. Ooh. Um, how are you guys doing today? You just always bring the energy down. You need to match my need energy. To bring it up. Match my energy, <laughs> you know? Trying to generate something. Loud it. Raise I, I, I like to warm up to get into it. Okay. How are you guys Fair doing enough. today? Where you're listening to us from Lagos, London. It's your boy OJ. You already know if you've been here all the time. And if you're just coming, it's your boy OJ, not Simpson. I uh, hope you guys are doing good. Uh, you're enjoying your summer. If you're in London, hope you're enjoying your summer. And if you're in Lagos, Hope you're enjoying yourself, <laughs> but either ways. And those of you that are coming from Lagos to London for summer holiday, hope you have a good time. Sure. In this episode, yeah. there will be link in links for events that you can go to that you can check mm-hmm. out. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Before we get into it, make sure you are following us on all our social media platforms. All our platforms, we are on Instagram, we're on TikTok. We want you to also fo- follow us on YouTube. Just make sure you are following us so you can get more amazing content from us. So, yeah. All right, guys, just to follow up on what Ali said, we are also available on audio listening platforms, mm-hmm. Spotify, Apple Podcasts. I won't bore you with the rest. But when you do go there to listen, Make sure, you, even if you don't like the content, leave a comment so that we'll know and then we can improve. And if you like it, five star, just press five star and subscribe to the content. So anytime we drop, you would... A- our guest said you should send money, so send pounds. <laughs> or what? Or what? Naira. Naira. Money. Right. Pounds Naira. Naira, Naira, everything. everything. Cool cash. Everything. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> don't guys and you guys have been here before you already know how it goes now anytime I'm doing the intro but don't mind them they baby scout Emma Bino. so I'll intro them guys today <laughs> we have two very amazing wonderful special beautiful oh, <laughs> that's just a beautiful that's that's a, that's part two so <laughs> um content creators filmmakers uh, believe they're destined for to do great things within yeah. the culture Purr. by the grace of God mm-hmm. and yeah, I don't know what else to say, man. Like, <laughs> yeah. These girls, they're amazing and they blow our mind. They're Gen Z. That's another thing. Period. They're Gen Zs. Yeah, they're Gen Zs. <laughs> our yeah. guys, welcome to Lagos Meets London, Oroloa Johnson and yeah, Audrey right. Adelti. Woo! You. Yes! Uh, thank you! <laughs> well, you well, yeah. Guys, yeah. just say hello to the camera. Say something. Say yeah, for followers. How y'all doing? Hi, guys. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Me, I can't do I'm over. screaming. Hi, <laughs> guys. It doesn't work like that. I can't do it the way you did. So. No. I feel like your relationship here is built on tr- tr- um, trolling each other. You troll each other no, a lot. No, you know what? That's true. I feel That's like you troll each other a lot. That's true, In the know. beginning, it wasn't that. In the beginning, it was shy. I've influenced her. Really? Yeah, now it was just insult, insult, insult. We've Wait, gotten well. too comfortable. But you know what? I can it. tell it, it's, it's, still, it's still our love. Yeah. I can tell. 100%. I can tell. When we anger each other, we just give each other. She's, giving, she's making me more affectionate. Oh, I yeah. love that. I'm an affectionate babe. I'm not. I'm a lover babe. Ah! I'm not. Really? <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah war. Yeah. I'll say love you. I still can't say it. And then no, no, you but need you to. do say it. No, but when cool. she goes, I'm not talking to you again. Not it's the Nigerian in you, babe. Yeah. It's, I don't know. Yeah, but it she's is. Nigerian it is. now. But I used to be like that until is I it? went to uni. And mm-hmm. then people say love you. I'm like, bro, to be get fair. somebody else to do it. And then I learned three them four years. Was it three? No, three years, sorry. 
Then I was like, at the end of it, now I love you is something yeah. that I'm I still, there are moments where I feel a, bit, a little bit uncomfortable, but it's different than Nigerian and you because we're not like... To be yeah, fair, naturally. Yeah. I went to uni as well. My uni friends are very affectionate mm-hmm. and cuddly and stuff. And I'm just like, I, <laughs> like, I don't have time for this. But it's so crazy that still, I f- well, I'll say in fashion, I never used to even hug people. It's that bad. Yeah, I love but hugs. Then, mm. You hug. see, I said hugging, I was... Do, yeah, I'm an ogre too. Yeah. I love yeah. a cuddle. Yeah. I love a hug. Like, do you know what I mean? Just I yeah, just let me feel you. Me. No, <laughs> change your ways. <laughs> no, 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 she will give her two years. Two more years, maybe. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, ladies, thank you so much for coming on to Lagos Meets London. Thank Honestly, you um, you guys are doing amazing stuff, and we just wanted to talk to you guys. But before we get into it, I want to play a game with you guys. <laughs> Do you yeah. drink super malt? Do you drink malt? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, wait, wait, just uh, uh, before yeah, yeah, we get yeah. into that, how, how many years did you spend in Nigeria? Well, cold. Five years. <laughs> oh, wow. Five, five, it one to five years. Five years. At what exactly. age was this? What age? I was born there. Okay. I came in 2005. I haven't oh, been wow. there since. Oh, wow. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. So five years. Yeah, five Stretch years. Five. So you, you, you can remember. Yeah. Are you? Fourteen years. Fourteen years. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you're a veteran. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a veteran. Nearly fifteen. fifteen early 15 so yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's that's a good age. Like you can remember. Of course. You can remember of stuff. Mm-hmm. By special grace of God. <laughs> like they said, represent wherever you're from. Do it Come proudly. On. Do it boldly. And do Amen. it confidently. Yeah. Love that. Exactly. It's like I didn't you know get the memo that, today. Go on. Who said it? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's not you getting it. caught in. You know when you say content creator, Ore is like she when she does voiceover for you, you bust your head. Wow, like, she Aure, has a voice. Shout out for yeah. voiceover. If she does voiceover for you for your content, you bust Love your head. Love that. She, she knows, that. she knows, she knows. I was just going to say, I didn't get the memo of the green. Everyone's wearing green today. She I'm just... honest, like, she just turned up from my house and I was just like... I was like, yeah. Did you, did you read my mind? Originally, I was going to wear black. But, but me, I always have black. I have a touch of black uh-uh. and white. <laughs> like, who died? Like... <laughs> well, black is... Black is my favorite color, though. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Mine's green. But, though. guys, like I said... Mm-hmm. I want to play a quick game with you guys. I'm ready. I'm right. staying out. I'm going to win though, still. Do you yeah, think I'm, so? Yeah, yeah. Why yeah. is that? I'm a winner still. She's oh, winner. love that. Yeah, yeah, love yeah. that energy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that energy. All right, I've got three names of malts, different type of malts. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Three names of malts? Yeah, yeah, five. Sorry, five. <laughs> okay. oh, sorry. I'm getting a bit excited there. Five different malts. And I just want you guys to rank it on which is the best. This is my forte. Let's yeah. go. She oh, said yeah? this is our forte. I, I, so, I can we so. just say something? But let her reel out the names before you guys okay. jump in. Let me finish and then you can yeah. come on. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So I've got Super Malt, Hyper Malt, Maltina, Malta Guinness, and Vita Malt. Ooh, that's oh, a strong list. Wait, and OJ, I know, oh, sorry, Ore, I know Super Malt, the, but don't worry, <laughs> just, we, if, don't just, just say your mind. <laughs> just speak just up. Just say your mind. You know, I mean, it's not like yourself. you're saying it's bad or anything. Because you're closest just say to your me, mind. Audrey. Okay. You tell me. So, Rank nobody them. on this earth has been Malt to Guinness. Oh, to me. Really? I mean, other malts, yeah, sponsor me. Come on, <laughs> on shut your girl. Malt to Guinness, when I tell you. Really? That is, it's also nostalgic, like, because that's, you see those bottles, my dad used to go to like a shop, right? Mm-hmm. He used to buy all those bottles, those yellow bags, bring it back. Malt to Guinness, someone was touching it. Then we now have Maltina. And also, I like Maltina Danso a lot. I don't know if you guys remember Maltina Danso. Of course, mm-hmm. of course mm-hmm. like The Martina. family, the, the family yeah. thing, yeah. And we now have Vitamol. It's a bit sweet. I like it. I like it. Mm-hmm. Then, is it Hypermol? What did you say? Um, Hypermol. Hypermol. Mm-hmm. I'll go... Miss Why I just found out too. I'll, I'll go Supermol then Hypermol. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's my. So Happy Malt is the last for you. It's the last. So Malta Guinness is like your clear winner. When I talk, that's even if I'm blind, I'll pick it. When was the last time you had Happy Malt? I'm sorry, Malta Guinness. Malta Guinness. Guinness. Like last week. Really? Oh, no, no. Yeah, I you get, you get in shops in Woolwich. Yeah, Woolwich. Yeah, I'll come back from Woolwich. church. My church is in Greenwich. Like, come on. Come yeah. back. To so step down. KSN, that meat shop, they have it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about your earlier? Which, which, which way are you going? Hey. Be honest. Be uh, honest. Let me be, if I'm being very honest. Be, yes, be that's honest. That's good. That's All what the, we like. All the names you're saying. My head is just back, back, back. I've never saw them. You never, never heard them? The only one that I actually know, if I'm being very honest, is the supermarket. And the one you said because Most I remember your one's got like a yellowy creamy yeah, color. Yeah, yeah, mm. yellow. I haven't brown. had that in ages. Really, I had that in ages. But you see, Supermalt, mm-hmm. 
generally that's the regular thing in my house. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have to say super on the basis that And it's not because they sponsored your film. <laughs> no, it's not that you know, shout to me again. Let's walk again. But also, <laughs> it could also but, be maybe because I grew up on Malta Guinness because yeah. on talking to this country, my mom I prefers super super more. Well. Oh really? Yeah, because yeah. I didn't know super was a night. I even thought it wasn't even a night brand. Actually, but that's that crazy. Nige What's the one that's like got a bit of red on it? I'm like, still motor. I'm still motor. I think that yeah. one. That one I like too. It's in like okay. in a can and it's kind of like mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That one maybe that would be my number two. I should have put that in the list. Yeah, but that one I'm I still remember. Motor, yeah. I'm still motor. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. I'll say those two. So so your your best is super motor. Yeah. Sorry, super don't fight me. <laughs> Well, yeah. I think there's a trend going because we, if you ask people that grew up in Nigeria, mm. either Malta Guinness or Maltina will be number one, number yeah. one and two. And people that grew up in the UK, it's super, super malt. malt yeah, but super malt is. Uh, I don't, I don't have the words for it. But then we'll, we'll move on. Let's we'll move, move on. on. Let's yeah. move on. Shout in terms of, in terms girl. of like, in terms of like um, malt, nah, super malt is not even. It's not even top. It's not top tier. It's not a top tier malt. When was the last time you had malt, OJ? Because I know you I, love malt. <laughs> Yeah, probably like two weeks ago. Not even two weeks, like last week. Yeah, you know? yeah I was going to say you... But which one did I drink last time? Malta what did Guinness. You have? Malta Guinness. If I was yeah. buying Malta, it would either be So that's be you Malta all the way, Malta Guinness. No, no, Malta Guinness or Maltina. Either of those two. If I can't get I those two, I don't remember what Maltina Malta. tastes like. I don't remember. Maltina is actually the best malt. I don't know why she said I'm still Malta. I'm disappointed. No, I said Malta Guinness. She said Malta Guinness. Maltina the is Maltina actually Guinness. the best. Maltina. I don't know why she said that. Maltina. Maybe because it's just nostalgic oh. for her. No, Malta Guinness. Maybe with milk. You know, do you add... Of course, Wait, man. Do Even do Maltina with milk. But, but it's not... Let me, say, let me say milk. It's not like um the milk you get. Pig like, milk. The, pig milk yeah, or pig powder. Milk, like condensed milk. Condensed milk. milk. Never yeah. had. And I don't That's Girl, right. you got to drink it. Hot tonic. They said it's a block thing, isn't it's it? It's a lie, but... It's good. It's just, it's just, it's just jedi jedi. <laughs> but it's all yeah. sugar. It's just sugar. It's all sugar. Anyways, thank you for playing that with me. And yeah, yeah malt people, shout your girls. <laughs> <laughs> and us too, Lagos Meets London, you know. Period. <laughs> we're available, we're about. Okay. Um, okay. But let's just, we've already spoken about nostalgia. We've taken it back to Nigeria and everything. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you, you're, you, you're, you're Igbo. Half Igbo. Um, so I'm actually quarter Ibo. Oh, it's just quarter. So, so it's, it's not even seventy five percent yeah, Yoruba. Yoruba, which is why when people like when it comes to Ibo side, I'm just very much not as Do you speak though? Um what? Ibo. Yeah. I don't know a damn thing. So but what does I appreciate Ada mean? Pardon? Ada. <laughs> Ada first of all. Uh, so that one I know in terms of like general terms and stuff. And I do love their music. Ox Audrey. I love like Ibo music so Ibo much. Music. Do you like, like flavor? So Who are your yeah. favourite artists from the um, Ebo side of thing. Oh, oh Chike is nice. Ah, Chike's sorry, very good. I like the romantic ones. Flavor, yeah. you know, you like Fino? Yeah, that's what. Yeah, man. I Fino just, is cold. And the mm -hmm. cavemen, she loves. The yeah, cavemen. I love cavemen too. Are very good. Mm -hmm. It's just that I life. Ebo music yeah. is like I life. Mm -hmm. like, it's you know, very it's good. very much different. So I say I can appreciate their music. I don't know much mm -hmm. about their. Like, what about the food? Do you? Nah, not too much. My dad eats a lot of it though. Okay. Not a fan of this. You never had inkwabi. Don't even know what that means. Are you like, joking? You're, you're missing out. Wait, so is your dad like fully Yoruba? Um, half. Half Yoruba. And if half you look Yoruba. at him, he looks very Ibo because he's very yellow. So he's really? half Yoruba, half Yeah, Yoruba. my mom looks very Yoruba. Like my parents, if you see, my dad looks because he's very yellow. My mom is a very chocolate, dark skin mm. Yoruba woman. So, But at home, even though my dad was obviously half Ibo, he spoke Yoruba. That's right. it. So when people say, I was like, I don't know what he's talking about. I may look like, and I think people look at me and think, yeah, this girl got some like Ibo. Yeah, you mm. look like I look Ibo. very Yoruba. I don't know. You look very Yoruba to me. Yeah? I, I wouldn't Cold. I wouldn't think she's an Igbo babe. No, I would, I would, I would, I would say, but what about me? You, you are a like black Yoruba, Yoruba man. No. You see, my mom is actually from Delta. Delta and Yoruba, what's the difference? Nah, it's, no, but it's you far can off. say they're half and half. What's half the difference? No, no, to be honest, they're not far off. Because exactly. exactly. it's, it's not far from Delta, them Elijah from um yeah, the River Rhine right areas. The, that's them side. Yeah, off. I know it's not far, True. but but still. But their languages, because Yoruba has different dialects. Mm -hmm. that, one of the dialects is similar to Elijah. Yeah, 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 of course. I'm learning mm -hmm. today. <laughs> so, um, what songs did you guys listen to? In like our parents, did your parents used to listen to growing up? Oh God. Oh. So many. You wanna go first? Me. Artists. Let's start. Let's do artists. My shout out to Tamaya. My dad. No. <laughs> let's take it back okay. a bit more. Let's like back, more. back, back, back. Like um, the days of Sonia know, Day type nah, of people. No, probably no, not Sonia Day. Young. Though. My parents yeah. are quite young. And okay. Also, you know this. Love me, Jaja, Auntie Shafi and her cousin. Love that okay. song. That song. 
the actual and you know Ayangba. I don't even know this yeah. Ayangba. Ayangba, those are dangerous. Know, yeah. All those, uh, all those <laughs> oh, wow, your parents are very young then. Plantation. They're not very, but they're like they're, 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 they're very much tapped in. in town. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They're not Sorry like. <laughs> Are they the cool parents? Yeah, I would say they're the cool parents because mm. my parents were like, cool <laughs> you know, like Efrebo, Efrebo, you, you, you know those the... songs mm. like Plantation Boys. My parents, they used to tell me all those songs and I even grew up listening to it because my, my dad loves music. Mm. My dad loves, he can sing. They, my house was just very... A Christian house? It's a Christian house, but what, again... The gospel, any gospel songs? Gospel, ah. Uh, you are not, if you're an RCCG kid now, the RCCG I was, that was about to say because that's all I know. The RCCG and so that like, many, many, many people. Hey, many, 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 many people, people say hey. the same song again Lara and again George, every. Do, 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 yeah. 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 What about you, Kaya Fele? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The CD, you know, now we don't all the sweet sensation, the um, all the different names that I used to name yeah. all this stuff. Because you know, it was like back then they had CDs. My dad used to burn, like, mm. is it called burn? They burn the CDs and they would they copy, copy it, download yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that's in my head. That's what I'm thinking of. That's as far as why well, it was the same yeah. songs that. What's like, you? I'll tell you, my parents are not that type of. People. They don't even listen to what's you, them. <laughs> really? My mom did when maybe she was small in the butter metal or something, yeah. or my dad when he was in um Ogba, Ikeja. But my parents are not like that. Like if you see me doing all my uh, knowing all this, you're about this. Maybe for my grandma, or my uncles, or when okay. we go to parties, I pick it up. My parents are not like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if so, you were to pick three that like influ- do you say you enjoyed listening to that influenced mm-hmm. your childhood that you just like? By yourself. That like oh, you can remember peace, listening to. He's square. You see more heats as well. Mm. <laughs> when they said, um, Why me? Yeah. Yeah. I, I can still remember Saturday in the back. They were yeah, playing yeah, yeah, yeah. it. And P square. And if you do me, I do. Girls. Man, nigga, When I was in birthday parties, nobody was winning me. So I swear. <laughs> nobody <laughs> was winning me. So. I'm telling you. Just because you have energy. Sometimes it's the, you know. Is this Why not I give them exactly. that Shakira, Shakira? <laughs> oh Lord! No what, what about Lagbaja? Oh, people, oh are you Fun ready? Fact, my mom said when <laughs> Lagbaja used to come on on, on TV that mm-hmm. I literally used to sing Coco Co, Bilo Coco Bilo like a lot. That's I a very good. That. Yeah, that's a Lagbaja, that's nostalgic. Yeah. What about you? Do you have any um, memories? Apart from all of the ones that she's mentioned that I actually mm-hmm. you know like the RCCG ones, so like <laughs> RCCG. Um, it's actually like the likes of like Simi and stuff. Oh, okay. Like when she had, I forgot the name of the album, but so it's this the was white, growing up though. Growing like, up, yeah. Right. So it was kind of like all these like soul food kind of like music. That's what my parents are on. Like there wasn't a lot of like no 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 no. That one would only come when we went to parties. <laughs> mm, and okay. if I'm being honest, in terms of all the, like the names that you've mentioned, a lot of it came from my own like discovery. Right. I think I was and my parents didn't really put me on. Mm-hmm. If I'm being honest, mm-hmm. it was kind of like okay. I learned about this artist and now this artist is, oh, okay, why? Mm-hmm. All of this stuff. And then, and I love music a lot. Right. So then from one person's like, okay, who's Simi? Simi, Adekunle. Okay, Adekunle. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm a big fan of Adekunle, Gold and Simi, but old one. I feel like back then it was, and maybe it's because I miss back home and I haven't been yeah. since then, but old Adekunle, Gold and Simi mm-hmm. felt very much close to home mm-hmm. in terms of the instruments. And I feel like now we've seen, obviously it's relevant to our time with yeah. our piano, the beats and stuff, but I feel like it's changed you so much. You have to much. evolve though. With, yeah. I mean, and which, yeah, yeah. And I, I totally understand that. But for me, I think I just have an attachment to just mm-hmm. like, you know, um, Adekunle Gold and their music videos. Where so was what just... was your favourite song of his from back then? Oh, Eerie. No, no, oh, that wasn't back then. What's the one where you went on the bike for Simi? There's a music oh, video. Oh, I know that song. I can't remember. For her. The one on the back and, and he went to her, her house. house and her mum wasn't feeling him yeah, at all yeah, yeah, and I he was looking song. so skinny his hair oh, was like I, don't, I forgot the name of it but that song is it Oriente? No, 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 but he sang it because of Simi though. That's mm-hmm. Oriente. I, I, I forgot the name of it, but that one, I where that, that video, and I remember watching it. Where in the beginning there's the countdown before the, mm. yeah, man, that's uh, what I forgot the name of it. Sorry, <laughs> don't be to me, but I'm that's not what sure the boy. I know the song she's talking about, but I just can't remember. It's gonna come when I leave, and that's what I swear, me too. When we're stepping, like, oh, I remember. I remember, so annoying. Okay, that's nice, but we really just for me. What was yours, OJ? For me, the three would be Wasu Ainde. My mm. dad loves Wasu. Mm. Number two would be my then my mom. My mom was like Tokpe Alabi on mm. Sundays, like gospel, different gospel people on Sunday. Mm. And then Yinka Efele has to be there. So talk, um, Wasu Ainde, Tokpe Alabi. And then Yinka Efele. But me personally, the ones that I found that I like by myself is Ayuba. Mm. When it comes mm. to like music that my parents like, Ayuba, mm-hmm. yeah. 
Yeah. Like to me, it was Yin Kaifala. Like all yeah. the songs I knew, all the next generation, Sweet Sensation, <laughs> <laughs> Salvation. My what dad got the all of them. You know what I just remember now? Yeah, yeah. You know Destiny Kids. Oh my gosh, joy, me too. Joy, joy. In, in my heart, heart, heart is ringing. <laughs> they, they were these, they were siblings. They're all married now when we kids. Honestly. Yeah, but they were my childhood. Do you guys remember Style Plus? Yes. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Plus, they had their oh, run. When they were even three, remember they were three before mm-hmm. they became a duo. I only know them as three, though. I don't know. Yeah, any. me too. Yeah, they are they a duo yeah, now? Nah, they yeah, should yeah. have packed it up since then. The three. <laughs> They had what are their names? Rap it up, rap it up. I don't remember their name, I don't remember, but their yeah, songs, their songs. I even saw something on TikTok. Like, was it not this week? One of them was performing in London. Yeah, I saw that. It came party. up on my feed. Yeah. Just really. The only thing they That's can crazy. perform is their songs, the old ones. I don't think they have. No, it's names. the old one. It wasn't yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. No, I think he wasn't even meant to perform there. Someone just recognized him and gave and him the mic. Oh, okay. Really? So, do you feel like knowing what all these songs and mm-hmm. how it influenced your growth and growing up in your childhood? Did you feel like a fob at any time? Time. Do you want to go first or should I go first? <laughs> I'm looking at I, you, girl. Okay, cool. Um, I think, bear in mind that, what, I was only in Nigeria for like five years. Okay. So it's not even that long, mm-hmm. but I carried the accent and everything with it here. Mm-hmm. And I didn't have an issue with it during like primary school. Because mm-hmm. God forgive me, but I think I was a bully in it. Um, so Wait, I was like, do do? Talk, like I was just <laughs> naughty in primary school. I was just so like, nobody did, nobody tried you, yeah, nobody tried it. Try I just it. came with the because mm, 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 <laughs> there was like me and my other three, and it was us black girls, so mm-hmm. we were like running things, and no one dared because you've come from you, come for all of us. Kind right. of like, then I went to secondary school, so I'm sure, again. <laughs> sure again. they said, You said, What, who are you? That's why if you see me switch up, it's because I've been around right. the different, mm-hmm. you know, like you said, What, that like, mm-hmm. was your name, mm-hmm. or rare. No, what? A really what? No, a rare, a really what? Um, so I had the accent; it was very strong, mm-hmm. and I like I don't want to say I dressed even like at before. five though. You you left Nigeria yeah, at five, and I carried it, and I didn't care. I think I was very confident about my culture until right. I went to secondary, right? Because then I think the big change was meeting other Nigerians that wasn't so confident. They were the ones teasing me about it, right? That was oh. like. Uh-uh. Your, your mom is speaking what's going on mm-hmm. here and I was like rah so it's not rated mm-hmm. so then I tried to do that what's up babe what's up what's up girl it did work though <laughs> no, it really? did work cause like I feel like I can switch up now but back mm-hmm. then it wasn't as strong and he had come out yeah, like, <laughs> our ve- veteran, as OG said. She, 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 she's tired of telling the story. <laughs> Did you ever feel like a fob when you first came into the country? Of course, but I didn't know the meaning of fob when I first came. Right. Out, just but to be honest, mm-hmm. I was told to tone it down. Oh. Yeah. Turn I, what down exactly? Just like my Nigerian. You so start. Not, not, I'm not, not even out of like, oh, we don't want you to show that you're Nigerian. It's just for protection. Okay. In the sense that I've Would had Would you be able stories. to undo the backlash? Yeah, the that, backlash. That will come and with, Because yeah, I came straight the from the airport and to Openton. I don't know if you guys know Openton. That's mm-hmm. a white area. No, yeah. Openton. That's a white. So I was the only black girl in my classes. So Fair to there, for you, so that's for me, mm-hmm. but then I said, no, no, yeah. it ain't no way. I am who I am. And and then, that's that's yeah, different. It, yeah. Literally, they used to, phew, my God. You're bold though, because you had an all white school, whereas me, it was predominantly dumb, black. Like, right. I had to be a couple of people uh, yeah. to, for them to know oh. that, yeah, they should leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I, sorry, I'm not violent, but you know sometimes like, it gets these, to you, these kids are, oh. They're mean. They're, they're mean, you think maybe because we're young, but now nah, they're still they're still the same. Some Well, yeah. majority of them, like, I don't Mm-hmm. But yeah, Boring. but yeah, to this day, people still call me freshy auntie and all of that. Even from the skits I do. Just so. to touch on what Ori said, mm-hmm. she mentioned that most of the people that even do the bullying are Nigerians that are born here. Yeah. That's, why. that's the bit that yeah. really upset me. I think that's yeah. the part that broke me down. So, mm-hmm. Because it was just like, huh? If like, you look at, like she said, if you look at them, those same people, now that they're adults, there's the ones still yeah. doing it. They'll be picking out like, oh, mm-hmm. your accent, mm-hmm. you sound, they're still yeah. doing it till today. Mm-hmm. Probably just like. But watch, they're the ones that say, oh, I need to learn you're about from you, And babe. that's the bit right. that. Right. That's because it's cool everybody, to be Yoruba yeah. right and now. Everybody cool. wants to exactly. speak it. That's Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. It's yeah. literally what we. It's not. You it's who it. we it's are. Cool to be English. Mm. You don't that's get to pick and stable. choose. Pick essentially, and, choose. and that's what yeah. is very key for me. Like, if I say I love Nigerian culture, I love it through and through. Even when people are like you lot are loud. 
Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Cold. Tell me something else. Like mm-hmm. it doesn't. You yeah. have to love it. You don't get to pick and choose the bits Even you when like. It's bad. Mm-hmm. Not like, you know. Because everywhere to. has the you know bad stuff too. Like yeah. I guess when people just think of Nigeria, they're thinking of the we're loud, we're mm-hmm. extra mm-hmm. fraud. All fraud. Like, but there's fraud everywhere. And there's not, loud people. And when you look at the list, Nigeria is never top ten. Exactly. Yeah. Such a fraud. I'm not even making up. It's such I, just, I just think that we are very audacious with the things yeah. that we do. We <laughs> are very like, audacious. It is a Nigerian parent. Honestly, brother. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> Literally. Like, their English is... <laughs> I'll be hearing bladadash. I'll be bladadash. <laughs> I've spoken to you times without number. <laughs> in, my, in my secondary school, in, on assembly, we had this teacher who would just be doing the practitioner. You know that Patrick guy? Oh, be, God. What's his name? That guy that is always saying, kung kaka, tua kaka. Yeah, yeah, I know who you're talking about. We had about. a teacher like that. Oh, Literally, no. on the, in, in assembly, like, mm-hmm. I refuse to believe that's mm-hmm. real. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, when you actually go and look at the meaning, it's mm-hmm. actually... It sort of makes sense. I won't lie. But it's just what like... What you're saying is correct. We but can't it's just understand. Where they learn like, life. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. So, so do you think that your experience, do, do, does that have any influence in... Is it FOB or FOB? FOB. 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 It's FOB? FOB yeah. Does, did, did that have any influence in FOB? Yeah. As in the film? Yeah. Um, FOB. 100%. FOB the film. That your experience, people around you. 100%. That's where it stemmed off. Like, everything you just said right. was the reason why the doc was made. Mm. The fact that, one, you don't get to pick and choose. Right. Secondly, those who, I guess you say, your second or third, like, generation immigrant, learn mm-hmm. about your culture. Be educated just as much as the first. Mm. And take pride in it in the way that, I guess, the mainstream isn't just praising it, but through and through. Because, mm-hmm. and I think, at one point, I was like that. And I think right. once I snapped out of it, I was like, well, you don't get to pick just because everybody's in a shack and whiskey, done doll. Mm-hmm. Guy, there's more to it than done doll. Mm-hmm. You know, research, learn about your history, learn about your culture. Mm-hmm. So then obviously getting amazing people like Audrey, Abi, Babusaga, Big Pressy, and Lanray. Woo! Like, you know. Shout out. Yeah. So let's say your name with Audrey, Buzaga. Big Pressy. Big Pressy, yeah. Shout out Big Pressy. Abiba. 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 Shout out Abiba, man. Yeah, so nice. everybody, like, if you see these people, when you meet them, the culture, you look at them and think, yeah, cold, you're Nigerian. The, were, were there things that you saw in these different individuals that you thought, I want yeah. this person, yeah, I want yeah, this yeah. person? And what were these things? Yeah, so I think, first of all, when it came to look for people, I was just thinking, like, when people think of Niger people, mm. you know, they're thinking of straight away. Yeah. And I'm already on that side of TikTok, so I was like, oh, okay, Audrey, she comes with us and she's representing her <laughs> skit. You've got a B back, she's getting ready, doing her get ready. She's doing your bias. She's well. doing it in your yeah. bar. Mm-hmm. You've got Big Pressy just being herself, mm. making that joke, you know, and then you've got Basaga mm-hmm. making music, mm-hmm. also busting jokes. And then you've got Lanra, an artist who's representing. So it's just like mm-hmm. these people, that, and then and they all have like individual flares as well. And I wanted people that were different in their own unique way. Like each and every five of them, they're different, mm-hmm. but in unique ways, but then they're all have the same message, same essence in terms of the fact that they're bold and they're proud to be Nigerian. To be Nigerian. And I want to show people like through these five people, you too, even if you're not Nigerian, mm-hmm. learn about your own culture and be mm-hmm. educated on it. Because mm-hmm. I think there's also the idea that Nigeria is a very loud and boastful about our culture. Yeah, do it. But you too, let's learn about Italian culture. Let's learn about Ghanaian culture. Right. Well, we take pride in it and I want other students like to do the same as well. Because as much as I love being Nigerian, I also love learning about other people's cultures. Mm-hmm. But when I speak to them, it's like, they're moving shy. Why are you shy? Something yeah, about don't be shy. More, yeah, like, complain when we are very uh, loud, like, then, you know. Audrey, did you feel like you had to tone that? Because, like, I've mm-hmm. seen com- some of your TikToks and mm-hmm. they do really well. Like, mm-hmm. And I look at them and I'm like, this girl's just being herself. Like, yeah. And did you ever feel like, you know, because of the negative comments, because you will get some. Yeah. You felt like you had to tone it down. Could really be myself as much. Um, and if obviously thinking about it now in hindsight, if you weren't being yourself, or I wouldn't have like mm-hmm. seen you mm-hmm. and wanted to put you in such an amazing production you guys have got. So mm-hmm. I'll say yeah, many times. Mm-hmm. And also like again, growing up in the predominantly white area, it yeah. means that I said again exposed to like people our colour and stuff. And yeah. it's like the boys there were not really, also, they were not really nice in mm. terms of, you know, your looks, you still look fresh or something. Right. So sometimes I tried to turn it up, but it, it wasn't just me. Mm-hmm. And in terms of also, uh, do I fit in in the society? I was also male gaze, you know, as you're younger, you're mm-hmm. growing up, it's more like when boys uh in the area and they see girls there, the first, they don't come to you because automatically they think you're an auntie or whatnot. And you just feel like less beautiful, less like right. accepting the society. Mm. I felt like, let me turn it down. It just didn't work as well. But I was just like, you know what? I don't care. I'm not, at the end of the day, what am I? At this what what age, point did you get yeah. to that? You're like, 
you know what? It was literally... Burn all of you guys. It was sixth mm-hmm. form. It was sixth form. Love like, that. I started meeting new people in year 11, mm-hmm. NCS, and like introduced to South London is very brutal to grow up in. South <laughs> East London. So, <laughs> let me... Just, when just you... to call, when my first experience of it, obviously when I came mm. and then I was riding... Uh, me and my friend you and your bike Go no, right. I love bicycles See? we're right I That's can't like remember that but there's a park in Camberwell <laughs> riding a bicycle through Camberwell we're still very young and mm-hmm. then we've seen girls in the park and then my, when my friend opened his opened his mouth just to speak to them he's like oh, ew oh, ah! so oh, then I say okay there's a big problem <laughs> here what's going on here why are you talking ew like it's not even just the ew it's just the look on no, our no, face no. the disgust and I'm very I can never it's, it's imp- so diverse no, I don't know why no, people but the thing is that Honestly, again, it the could be me. it could be our age as well like mm. we're younger they're not as like exposed no. and again do you think our generation but, but right now to be, someone... to be honest some of the people that used to do that they don't do that anymore if anything they come they try and have conversation and like some of but them but you live in them. an African home like your parents are like that you that's what that's you're the around that makes yeah. sense to me like mm-hmm. your mum speaks the same language exactly to be honest, some so of their mums so... don't do. So, yeah. so, um, there's this thing 100% sure at least 80% of them that's the same but there's this thing mm-hmm. I don't like sometimes say. not all Nigerians do it some Nigerians they'll be like oh my kids what more Yoruba so you know they don't speak vernacular yeah they only speak English they, should, they only speak English and it's more like a status thing like mm-hmm. please like that's not funny. That's like but English just sounds stupid. In Nigeria, no? mm-hmm. Correct, right, That's our it's, first it's language out. So it's as like, much as we're pushing in that, they're pushing out something it's else. More, so. Yeah, it's more like a pride thing as well. So when mm. they're speaking, oh, I'm about mommy, sorry, but mm. you're about you know that type. Of, it's just like, girl, please be oh, F F R because you're taking your kids to French lessons yeah. and mm-hmm. you're taking your kids to Italian that's, lessons. Yeah, that's very but, true. Oh, no. <laughs> no, so it's more like you can't blame some some of them. Their parents like they're like that, so they carry that attitude outside. Mm-hmm. Growing up now, I'm extending grace. It's like it's what they see at home sometimes, mm-hmm. and some of them just try to fit in as well because they can't handle. I feel like at a what, young age, that's fine and acceptable. Yeah. But I feel like once you get to a stage where you step out and you start meeting mm-hmm. people that aren't Nigerian, all of this stuff, and you learn about them. But the thing is, do, they also to, do it to other mm. cultures too. It's not yeah. just like. If but I I feel like some people. They have a f- they fetishize other accents like a Spanish French man, like, yes, yeah, like it's oh, sexy. Do you know what I mean? Like literally, yeah. but you know when a Yoruba man they speaks. I mean, but the most I annoying think. part for me is, I always ask them, "Can you understand what the person is saying clearly?" Because I know, like, <laughs> yeah. like English. When it comes to English, yeah. every Nigerian, at least seventy five percent of Nigerians, that went through school. School is very good in Nigeria. Mm-hmm. They know how to speak and proper they English. English. Mm-hmm. They are not, yeah. It's not like Probably the English that they are speaking. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. you see some people that's, when they type on WhatsApp group you chat. You think it's AI. Like, you oh think my, like, it's AI. What kind of, I always make fun of them. Like, what school do they people even, go to in this country? They don't call it group chat. They call it platform. <laughs> platform. <laughs> platform. <laughs> they don't wow. call it group chat. They say on that platform. But I'm sorry, platform. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> platform or oh, forum. Forum. I don't know. so much. Like, it's not a group chat. They're like, forum. Forum, yeah, multi mix, but I'm what second just come in. forum. Oh, sorry, forum. What post, bitch? I like. I really understand what she's saying. Yeah, yeah, I do. You're, you're looking know, very quiet. lost. It's because you know I can't say it back. So oh, okay. Okay. What she's saying it's just like sorry. I'm trying to read the cue. Like, Can I actually so, yeah. contribute? But, but, yeah. at, at such a young age, you have yeah. a production company already. Right? I mean, you know what? Here they bought actually. Yeah, and I like. And you production. do. And you too. Yeah. But just take you us, guys. take us on a journey. Like the right, name, first. wait, wait. Uh, the name, <laughs> I want the name that you picked for a production company is actually very sick. I want you to explain like the name. What's first, the name? Tell us the name. Is AQ Production? AQ. Is it AQ? I'm sure you're going to say Akube. I swear, I thought it was Akube. <laughs> <laughs> this is not. This is not. What's under Akube? Oh. So it's not Akube. No. Dotman. Dotman. But I thought it was. Do you know what Akube is though? Uh, Akube. Uh, no, Akube is Akube is clothes that they wear. Yeah. In the UK. Capital, do capital letter A, capital yeah. letter C. You know, good, what, good. you know what I'll do that. It's AQ Productions. Cause AQ, like okay. OG Adomi Adoti. Okay. Oh. So it's triple A. Triple A is taken. Triple A battery. I don't want anybody to be saying triple A charged up. So it's AQ. <laughs> AQ Productions. That's so that. AQ. Where is this cube? Like, is it just three? A, cube. OG Adoti Adomi triple A. Three is cube. Okay, okay, makes is sense. Oh, Maths. Three. Three. Two, two square. square. Three yeah, yeah, two square and a three. three. So, so where did AQ, AQ, right? Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Egg cube come from? Akube what is cooler egg? though. What birthday? It's for my. Did I just say Akube? Akube. No, no, no. Akube, Akube, Akube is the Akube. best, man. I like Akube. Oh. It's got a ring to it. Akube is literally. Akube is literally like clothes that they've worn in the UK and they've taken to Nigeria. Like bend down select. Yeah, to sell. Yeah. It just makes sense. To be honest. I'll pray about it. Let's see what goes. Yeah, yeah. Because but where did on this point we're calling it Akube? Where did no, no, Akube no, no, come from? Like, like, Africanized man. <laughs> to be honest, there's a lot of A cubes. To be honest, that could stand at Akube or something. Akube, yeah. Where yeah, did that come from, though? Um, literally, you know, when you're just sitting down, what's different? What's what, what, I'm trying to put myself into my craft, so I just put Uju Adomi Adelty because me and my siblings will have triple A's mm-hmm. as our initial so I was I like that. you know what let's carry on no but I, I completely understand the mm. name and stuff but the idea oh, behind the it idea what you wanted it. to do with it Ooh. what were you thinking in the moment of like okay shout out Ore Ooh, shout it's... out Ore but I'll say I didn't want to so <laughs> there's a even I'm even going through that season there's a point in my life in it's TikTok is like yeah my TikToks are doing well or not mm. it's just like it's not going anywhere. It's not stagnant. And you're seeing people that are doing less and they're getting everything. Mm. And it was just like, you know what, God? I'm, and if it's like a routine thing, I was tired. Mm-hmm. I I was just like, you know what? I want to go beyond that TikTok girl. When people stop me, it's like, oh, that's that TikTok girl. Right. I'm grateful because that's a platform that put me up there. But it's like, I don't want to be boxed and caged into that TikTok girl. So literally, it was just random now. I was literally just praying to God like, I just want to move. I want to start something, but I don't know how to start it. Mm-hmm. Literally, I got an email from Ore that literally said, jump on your phone and whatnot. Then I picked her brain. I was just like, you know what? We're the same age. Abby? Mm-hmm. <laughs> she started her own. She films. Let me see what we can do. That's how I started my own first film as well. Mm-hmm. Just put it together. I was like, I can't put a film out. I'll put in a name. I was just like, you know what? There's a production company. We're just, I'm just going to start short films. And as an actress as well, mm-hmm. if the door, I've been knocking on doors, they're like not opening. I'm going to open my own doors. Love so that. So you know what? I, I just that. started my own exactly. company. Mm-hmm. And by God's grace, I'd, I don't know where I'm going, but God is going to take me further in Jesus' name. I think it's just Amen. important Amen. to start. Yeah. And you've done, you've done the yeah. biggest mm-hmm. part of it, mm-hmm. so which is to start. In, after you, your production company, you've only produced one movie so, so far. So two. Two, but you've done screening for one, but it's not so out the yet. The first one I did, I didn't know anything. I just pushed it out there. You okay. guys can watch it so you can see my growth. Yeah, well, tell us the name. name. The name. It's called What Are We on AQ Production. I what love are we that. On AQ Why are you laughing? It's, it's your car. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't mind that, guys. No, Link will be it, in the episode it. description. We even put no. a barcode Please, on our head. Literally, so that, yeah. what is it was that I didn't know how to work a camera. I didn't know about sound. I didn't know about color grade, nothing. Even my friends were the ones that acted and they shout out to my friends. God bless them. They really believed in me. And from there, a lot of constructive criticisms came and a lot of people reached out like, why do you want to work with you? Because mm. your, your storytelling is good. So now I've now gone, I've learned. I don't take criticisms. I'm going to cry because mm. I'm not going to move anywhere. Mm. So I took it. I learned. Reached mm-hmm. out to Ore as well. Ore helped a lot mm-hmm. in terms of my second film, which is coming out in... It's coming out soon in the name of Jesus. The trailer is coming out very soon. So you know when it's coming out. It's coming out very, very soon. So it's called mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I Am Hurt. So well, I think there was there was a screening already yeah, for, for some people. Hurt. For I Am Hurt. Yeah, for I Am Hurt. That's for a selected group of people. No, yeah, that was for like cast, crew, sponsors. Okay, and, okay. Yeah. okay. So that's that already was, out there. Okay. That's already out. But and it's then, on your YouTube channel. I Am Hurt is not out yet. What Are We has been out since. I Am Hurt well, is coming out. It will be on your YouTube soon. channel. Yeah. Okay, we'll, put, we'll link that. We'll God link bless it. you. Yeah. So, so what, she's just said that you've given, you've helped her a lot in her journey. Where did your journey start? How ah. did you get started? This I mean, is, let's just, I know we'll be here for, forever, hey. but you know, at such a I young age, someone I actually respect at such so a young age, oh, wow. from the like, outside. people are saying that, you know, this person has helped me. Yeah. Where did you start? Who helped you? What What's the journey with you? Um, Okay. Oh, um, sorry, before you start, guys, also, you are a fob. We'll link... Very is it you are a fob or I'm a fob? You're a fob. You're, you're a fob. fob. Yeah. Okay. I've watched, personally, this is not even promo. I've watched it. It's an amazing mm-hmm. documentary. Thank whether you're you Nigerian or whatever. Thank liked you. it straight away. I've seen snippets of it, but I need to very literally good. go watch it. Good. I'll, I'll watch it. It's actually very enjoyable. Over It's over 1,000 views, right? Yeah. yeah glorious, without promo yeah, or anything. Yeah, so the link will be in the episode description. You're a fob. Please yeah. watch it. Yeah. Wow, thank you so much. You so many G. compliments. I can't really take compliments. It makes me a bit shy. But yeah, so... Like I said, came to the UK in 2005. I'm the eldest daughter of six kids. How's your neck? How's your back? It hurts, <laughs> girl. 
and they don't want to help me and they're all grown. But anyways, you and uh, me both. <laughs> it's not exactly. It doesn't help, and mm-hmm. I can do the whole lot cook, clean. And anytime anyway, I hear someone's parents are six, they say, "Boy, your mm-hmm. parents know, are active." Five. Active. I always <laughs> say that. I always say, what? And I always say, "Who asked yourself?" Jesus, you know, six. Everyone's every child is a blessing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Glory. To be honest, honestly, it's not his. I'm having true. Anyways, mm-hmm. whatever God, whatever you want to do for me. But um, yeah. So I came to the UK in 2005. My mom, my dad, and my brother. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, you can imagine done the whole normal stuff going through primary, secondary. My grandma were, and my family were just adamant I was going to be a lawyer because I spoke a lot and I knew how to defend myself. Mm-hmm. I didn't like to get in trouble. I knew how to defend my case. If it's not a doctor, if it's not an accountant, it, it has, has to be a lawyer. It has but to be one of the According to my grandma, story. judge, yeah. you know. Right. And um, so I actually went to uni. Um, if I pause, rewind, A-levels, I didn't do too well. First time I picked psychology, sociology, politics and economics. Right. And I flopped to, like, I failed to. Mm-hmm. And because I was really ill around that time. So then I was like, okay, Lord, what's happening next? And I had to redo the year. So then it was just sociology, politics and English lit. Mm-hmm. So then I'd done that. So I was still on the law tra- trajectory, like, mm-hmm. on that. And mm-hmm. then, because I didn't know what I wanted to do. But since I was, like, 14, I was always making YouTube videos. Right. I was doing, like, the pranks. I was talking. Mm-hmm. I felt like a motivational speaker sometimes. Come on. None of them videos are there. You're not going to find it. <laughs> I found some of them. Oh, yeah. I, I, did to, it. I, I found some. No, I found you did some. it. You did it. They're not there. I found there. some. Um, but I was making, I was making YouTube. I was a very creative babe. Like, and I think one skill that I had is if I put my mind to something, I can learn a skill. Mm. So it was very easy. So I learned how to edit I knew how to make posts. I even used to do stuff like for church as well, making graphics and stuff. So I was just developing a whole bunch of skills, but I didn't know what to do with it. So I just continued with the law walk. Mm -hmm. So I continued and then I had a taste a day. Fast forward now to trying to see for uni. Right. University of Birmingham, I went to the law taste a day. I said, God, this ain't it. it. This ain't it. I said, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I ain't doing this. I didn't tell my parents that. I said, I'm plotting, I'm plotting. <laughs> so I changed from law and I was like, I can't do law. I can't read. Mm. What they're asking me to do, I can't <laughs> do it. But I need to find something that I can tolerate mm-hmm. to give my parents, if I'm being honest, because they had me on ropes like that. Mm-hmm. And then whilst doing that degree that I could tolerate, figure out what I want to do on the side. Right. And that became my mission. So I picked international relations because I, I, I loved global politics. In politics, I just, I love understanding society and people in general right. and why people do the things they do and mm-hmm. I guess how it affects uh, so I was like, okay, cool, do that. So throughout uni, I was just making my own videos. I'm even then... surprised they were accepting of that, you know. Um, International oh, relations. The thing about Nigerian parents is, as long as he has a big name, big name. <laughs> 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 International relations is actually that, a very. The next question is: Are you going to go to the UN? Yeah, that's the first. That's international the first question. Just international relations. Wow, yeah. that's you nice. Are you going you know, to do a masters? That let's, one is let's, sharp. Let's yeah. re- let's reenact. Let's reenact. Me and Audrey were the like, parents. Okay, okay. And, okay. and, and okay. she's the daughter. Um, okay. Let's reenact. Okay, I've got this. I'm the mom. You're the dad. Okay, mom. Okay, I'm the da- okay, I can do the dad. No, no. You said no. No, let me say. Okay, fine. Fine, fine. Fine. Okay, yeah. Big mom. Big No problem. I feel like, hey, mom, hey, dad. Um, I've been thinking that. I'm fine, thank you, mom. We mama show me sorrow to cut the mask. Sorry, sorry, Thank you, thanks, mom. Um, I don't want to do law anymore. I'm thinking to change it to some international. No, mommy, you that say eh? No, you say you should no, not. You that no, react it. We let that land. We let that land. Okay. Yeah, okay. I want to do international relations because I just feel like law isn't for me. But I don't have a plan right now. But international relations. Is I, want I want you and me. Yeah, show you. You do masters. I want you in here. Maybe, maybe. What, Sandra? She be what Sandra led your berello. Yes. She won't stop. You are too lazy. Mama, I know what I want to do. Mama, where are mommy? Sandra. Mama, where are mommy? Sandra. We're going off track, guys. But that's how you're going, though. That's exactly. No, that's how you're going. The only thing is just international. Because your dad sometimes backs you, innit? Yeah. If it's a female daughter. Yeah. Yeah, they're soft. But if it's United, literally, when I said, because I did Arabic for the next thing is, United Nations, I'd be who? And I was going, who? yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't lie. I was saying, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. I was just staying so that they would leave me alone. I was like, yeah. Yeah. And they said embassy as well. Like, yeah. yeah. Or they'll be like, oh, they're shape of economics. <laughs> and then I'll be like, yeah, I'll feel like I'll be like, yeah, mom, yeah, yeah, sure. I was just nodding. I was just giving them. And then mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, I was doing everything but that in uni. Barely, sometimes barely attending, you know. And on top of that, my first year of uni was pandemic uni. That's why. So it got cut short. Mm -hmm. And fun fact, 
when that happened, I sent an email saying I quit because I didn't want to do it anymore. And then I changed my mind because I realized I didn't have a plan. <laughs> I didn't tell my mom that though. But wait, wait, sorry, to backtrack. You sent the email that you wanted to change from law. Um, in fact, there was two. First, it was okay, change from IR to marketing because I was like, wait, you were you had already changed to IR and then you didn't like it again. Like I was ah, just because ah. I was bouncing because I was just like <laughs> <laughs> bouncing you know baby boy. Gen Z, that what they always say about Gen Z. You are very brave. <laughs> oh, they're millennial. <laughs> what are you, you a millennial? No, I'm not a millennial. Yeah, Gen Z. No, no, I'm yeah, yeah, I'm millennial. You're sorry. a millennial. No, yeah. uh, yeah, millennial. Wait, yeah, millennial. Gen Z, Gen Z. Gen Z, Gen Z. Gen Z. Gen Z. Yeah. yeah, we have ah, to differentiate. To I'll, I'll, we have to differentiate, yeah. please. Yeah, Our millennial. Sorry. What's the next one after Gen Z? Gen Alpha. The hair. Sorry. Wait, wait to be that. Yeah. Those yeah. are the ones. No, those no, ones. Wait to be that. They are very sad. What year is that? From 1999. No, no, no. 2000. 2000. Yeah. Is it 14? The small people. Mad though. That's yeah. It. yeah, that's it. Roblox are, people. Yeah. But yeah. So eventually, how did you find your way into film production? Just you just started. Just started creating stuff, mm -hmm. and I feel like that's what I always told people, and that's what when I met with you, like she said, I said just, just do it, just man. do it, because more time. If people don't rate you now, come, but they'll rate you later down yeah. the line, and you're doing it for yourself, not for them. At mm -hmm. the end of the day, and I always say, you know where you want to go, mm -hmm. and you trust God that He's gonna take you where you need to, like, and He will take you, like, He will introduce you to the right people you need to meet. Mm -hmm. He'll give you the resource to do what you need to do at that time. Mm -hmm. So whether or not it was just my phone that I had to create the stuff, cool. I mm -hmm. created and all the stuff that I did back then is now a reflection of like, is a portfolio and a reflection of mm -hmm. how I did what I did and the basics and the fundamentals. And then I always say this, a lot of people don't like the statement, but I say be very delusional. Delusional yeah, in the sense that delusional to I'm, I'm, it's delusional to man, but it's not delusional to God. I'm one of the most mm -hmm. delusional like, people in the world. You have to because <laughs> it's like knowing that God will just do something, something like that, and that's how your thought happening it was just uh, me. me. I can even email Kim Kardashian. Like this is what I'm Thank selling. You. Because in my head, what you yeah, like, me? Yeah, I didn't really? have a, no, no. Because in my head, and I always say that's what I say you have to be because they don't know me, and yeah. I've done stuff. But in terms of what. Now, what you've seen, the final product of your folk. Mm -hmm. At that time, I didn't know it was going to be that big. Because right. it was all my previous work. It's not that it wasn't great, mm -hmm. but it's nothing in comparison to what I've done what with your got So in my head, they could have said, and I always knew that. Mm -hmm. And I always say the worst thing they could do is say no. Right. I emailed like, you know, Audrey, all five of them. They all said yes. I was, I was even shocked. But I said, you know what? We're going to work with this. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to figure it as it as we go back because even the brands they I didn't know I had the backing of the brands until like mm. I already shot Audrey's at this point and then it was like two months in they said I was like oh, okay and I was what well, I was re reaching out to different people and I reached out to like five fifty different brands two three got back to me one was mm, and then two said yes yeah. so I was like thank you thank you God I knew I was in something do you know what I mean mm -hmm. so it was just like okay and I'm on track here um, but yeah congratulations on such a good production like I, like I said I've not seen it and I've seen snippets of it and I've heard so many lovely um, commentaries about it so but what's next for you are you doing anything um, else are you working on something yeah, else yeah just I'm gonna keep creating by the grace of God love that um, yeah. I have so many ideas and I always say that with filmmakers and just with anyone that's a creator in general mm -hmm. I feel like you all have a gift mm -hmm. and the gift isn't just about yourself it's about what you do for others through your gift right. so I feel like with a lot of my films it stems from an experience that God allowed me mm -hmm. to get through or overcome. And mm -hmm. because of that, I've been able to tell a story. Mm -hmm. So a lot of my films that you see, even though mm -hmm. everyone laughs, he ha 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 ha, mm -hmm. it actually will come to them. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Do you, the audience and the reception that you yeah. got for this production, yeah. did you expect it? Did you, what what, what were you I, thinking I, in terms of I that? I didn't know what to expect, but I just right. wanted to come with an open mind because mm -hmm. I used to be a very strong, I'm still working on it, but being an overthinker, I mean, very anxious. Even mm -hmm. the day when releasing it, it was an hour in or two hours. I called her, I was like, oh, yeah, I quit, I quit. No yeah. one's hearing me. So I was like, I quit, I quit. Mm -hmm. But two twins don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then it was just like, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't know what to expect. I was like, okay, God, whatever you want to do with this. Let's do it. I've done what I need to do. Yeah. And it was never about me to begin with. Mm -hmm. It was what you wanted to, the message you wanted to deliver through this. So yeah. once I made peace with that, I was just like, okay, cool. I'm, I'm fine. leaving him. And then. Audrey, you've got another um, show that you, you're working on, you're producing right now. Is you said it's ready? Is it ready? Yeah, it's yeah, by the special grace of God, it's ready. Mm -hmm. And you guys are gonna watch it sooner that sooner <laughs> than you expect. Are you going to be um letting doing some screening, selling some tickets to be for honest, that? I'm not doing any more open screening for it. I'm just okay. gonna put it out on YouTube for everyone okay. to watch. Right. So, yeah, again, building your own production, building 
we're starting something like Netflix started somewhere by God's grace. Mm. Oh, sorry, we're starting something. Chief Films, AQ mm-hmm. Productions, like Glory. Netflix started from somewhere. So mm-hmm. we're trying to build that platform. I always use Tyler Perry and Funke Akindele as yeah. an example. Mm-hmm. It's a very good example. She she did an interview. She was like, people were not casting her and yeah. whatnot. Mm-hmm. She just started her own thing. Mm-hmm. True, literally, though. you never know. You just have I to don't, keep like, a lot. Of, a lot of people, even if you think of Israel. Yeah. Think of that is Ajani, a Johnny guy, guy um, Jimmy Wiles Jimmy Black. Wiles Black. Mm. Start on you just thing. gotta do it. Yeah, because people might not rate it. Calm, charge it. Next. Very big uh, examples cool. from yeah. Kiaki Dilly. Because people's like, oh, this this thing that you want to do, like with like Jennifer. That yeah, no, yeah. but exactly. As long as the thing is, no one's gonna believe. It. If you don't believe in yourself first, ah. Long day for Long you. Day. And when God has planted that seed in you, you don't worry about how it will go. God mm. has already done it. You just take that step and go. Literally, because he puts that same idea in different people. If you are waiting, oh God, I'm waiting for when I have money. When I tell you the time we were making the film, sure. time we did, if you know the story, that's another day. That's another mm-hmm. day. If you know the story, especially, we thank God that we're not in the position where we were. Mm-hmm. And I'm not even in the position of, all I know is like the background. Yeah. If it was that like I'd use that and like I'm going through all this right now, I'm not gonna do this film. I love the connections I'm making. I'm not even qu- I'm not even one eighth where I'm meant to be. I know I'm gonna be bigger, but it's like Amen. the growth. Amen. Even if it's little, even if it's one step I took, it's at least I'm right seeing place. difference. I'm in the right place. So but, what was you you guys the biggest challenge for you guys during your fob? Oh. Just one. Just speak one. I know there's... She's, lo- she's doing the money sign. <laughs> she, yeah. You, your fob or is... Oh, you, yeah, for your fob. Both. I think it's I money. think it's the production you guys mm-hmm. worked on together. As no, much no, as... She, 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 as long as she, I know she's the producer and everything, but it's like you guys worked on it. Like, I think... Mm-hmm. Me, I was featured on it. I just came there, did what I did. So and just I came ate. and filmed like Superstar and left. And I did emotional support. Oh, wow. <laughs> Come on, yeah, OJ, what was it? What was it? Um, I would say... Um, just resilience keep going i can't lie because we started shooting um november 2022 oh, wow. and then it come out until this year yeah wow. like so you can ago. imagine like just to keep going whilst battling life mm-hmm. i think like audrey said just knowing that you know don't let like certain things hold you back because life can be hard you know mm-hmm. adulthood is new to me so Man. all of this stuff I'm doing <laughs> everyone's adulthood. figuring it out like, everyone's figuring oh, it's out mm-hmm. for Gen Z like, adulthood is always new to them adults, Ad- no, <laughs> is that, adulthood, adulthood is, is always to, new to hard Gen for Z everybody. no right, no matter what age that they beating. get to adulthood is always new to you gotta get up and keep going it's not this it's that it's not this it's that you guys have regular jobs yeah. Well, no, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> TikTok I, pays me. I've, I've, yeah. <laughs> TikTok pays me. Yeah. Well, you, no. you worked for, you worked, did you work for a production that was put on Apple TV or you worked with Apple TV? Um. Okay. So I, essentially I would say I freelance. Okay. So with that one that you mentioned, I was part of a creative program. Shout out to Fully Focused Productions because they also supported your fob with yeah. the camera equipment. Shout out, yeah. nice. shout out to them. And so it was a collab with them and Apple. So it was a creative program and um, I co-produced a short film for yeah Apple and Fully Focus called Loose Parts. Loose so parts. them doing yeah so like that and then every other ones that you've seen like Audrey's helped produce that. Um, do like different stuff stuff on my own other people and mm. slowly just building a portfolio of my own. But I do have like I floated through different jobs to be quite frank. Um, because stability is very important to me, mm. and I think that's even I guess a scary part scariest part about being a creative as well like the starving creative is actually a thing so what would you advise somebody that is trying to go into content creating and doing what you guys are doing what would you advise them trust god Mm -hmm. because me i can't i can't give you heavy system Mm -hmm. trust god um have a plan some sort as a guideline and understand that whilst you have that guideline Mm -hmm. it might go left it might go right Mm -hmm. it might go hop down and you've got to be prepared for that and know that understand the industry that you're stepping into is not a step-by-step one Mm -hmm. because if you walk in there thinking you're guaranteed you're gonna get this just because you even if you meet the person that 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 the biggest celeb Mm -hmm. that does not guarantee you nothing guys i'm I'm not gonna lie to you i met someone all of you's favorite yeah? yeah don't like her anymore Really? I mean, you tell us. I'll tell you. Don't yeah. like her anymore. Yeah. And I, no, I, 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 I let her know that I don't like her anymore. 
And I used to follow her everywhere. I am following her everywhere. Because it's like, you, you idolise people, yeah? yeah? And then you meet them in real life and you're like, nah, yeah. that's one, you're not nice. Literally, that's one thing in this journey. Also, having, you know, followers, you're not, it gets it never to your gets head. To my head. Does, it, does it get, I want to yeah, ask you, like does it point. get to I've you? Me, yeah. I feel like I've still not accepted the fact that I'm in the position a lot of people put me in. Mm. I'm still the random. When So when people see me and like, oh, yeah, I'm just like, yeah, because when I'm we go out every day saying, oh, I know you. Mm. Like, no, it literally and it's like my mom for the first time experienced it like when we were out and this girl was just like oh hush and my mom's like kill it, kill it, kill it. <laughs> and the people was like oh my gosh you're the girl from TikTok let me tell you something no matter how big you are your parents will never see it they're like exactly. what's going on but she saw it that day she, she did went, then she was like I'm so fucking mamura that that boy I love that <laughs> 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 she literally said she's like she's not 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 like the money it. I want to be making right now is not the money I'm making, so I'm right. not saying. It. But you have to start from somewhere, right? Into my head. But I'm just saying that even if you have the followers and you're like, oh, because you have the following, all these people with blue ticks are liking you, it, it doesn't matter. Don't rely on that. If you DM yeah. them and all of that, and you think, oh, because they've engaged you. Even if they said yes. Even if they say yes, Some but you can't yes, blame them. Disab- yeah, that, and that's as well, because like we said, have, a lot yeah. of people are reaching out to them. Bro, to they work. also, it's a different they're world, all, that mm-hmm. world. They're also not trying to like lose their place in the industry and all that. So don't don't rely. Literally, I've I've DM Talaperi, Moabudu, everybody. My DM is embarrassed. Person, but I don't care. No, it's no, no like no means no DM, new uh, opportunity. Do like everything that. you gotta do. Though. DM, Literally, but and it's very again, brutal. Don't dwell on that because you've DM everyone, you've emailed. Yeah. Don't dwell on that. Look at me if I dwell on that. For, have you ever emailed? From Kakidele to come to my screening. I um, niece. I told her niece to go tell her nothing, nothing. Even when Lai came here, she might be watching it. I DM'd like to work, but think, but I'm not angry about mm, that. It's yeah. like if God didn't say it's time for me to do that or it's time for me to meet. But one people. one thing that's so annoying though, I do understand mm-hmm. that. How do I put it? I don't want to. I'm not bitter or anything. Mm-hmm. I do understand. Mm-hmm. Like it would have been better for somebody that like you to create content with you mm. because of your background and everything. But yeah. they look at the numbers. Then it's creating content with people like Paps. And to me, that I'm consuming the content, it doesn't really make sense to me because I do understand, like, they're just, mm-hmm. perhaps is they're just... Um, to be honest, it's also... They're just, co- it's mm. not, the chemistry is not really there. But if you had created content with someone your, like... Your content you, is very really, relative. It's very relative that, to what the kind of content they know him for. Out, and again, I understand, like, I'm not as big, I'm nowhere as big as those people. And again, I see it as... Again, everything is God's timing. Right. I don't rely on people. My mom mm-hmm. literally, my wagala mm-hmm. go she share. I want you. there's this thing called siregun. When people do something to you, sometimes they might yeah. not come. I did this, I helped you. No. When right. it, when look at when I was begging God that I need just something new in my life. Mm-hmm. And it brought or I literally met her in 2020. Literally, you think we've known each other since. Honestly. We have so much in common and mm-hmm. you think we've met each other. Like, just natural. I don't want to force anything mm-hmm. and quality of our quantity right. as well. I don't want to do something. That's what's raining and I get forgotten. Right. No. That's like when people see that, oh, your content, you're not posting this. When people are posting, it's like, no, I do my own thing when I hear from God and I do things in the sense that mm. I don't want to just put it out there to be mediocre. But again, I'm not angry at anyone. No. Nope. No, no, obviously. You're a big content creator. Oh, um, she is. Please you, tell her. You are. Tell her. Let's, no, right. let's just call us for this thing. You really are yeah. doing Please. well. That's what I'm saying. So it's saying, boss, boss, yeah. Oh, nah. so boss are first yeah, you to your boss. Like, I believe you guys are just your own boss is in your own right. Your old boss is in your own right. But your, your give, boss give, give give an advice to someone that's trying to break into the TikTok space because it is a difficult space to just, break into. Don't be ashamed. Literally, once you've posted, this is what I used to do. Mm-hmm. Shout out to my friend Posse. She's a blessing. She did my first video for me that blew up. Mm. Literally wanted to delete it two minutes after she took my phone away from me. Wow. And literally we came back and we saw hundreds and thousands of views. Shout out, literally, your f- just do it. Mm-hmm. It's Don't think about, if you're thinking about, oh, I'm going to be embarrassed. People are going to see me. Say, That's their own business. Yeah. Because if they die tomorrow now in their grave, would they be thinking, eh, right. yeah, you posted it. No, 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 post it and literally be Again, not all your friends are your target audience, but still send mm. it to your friends, send it to your family. Please repost. That one there. Please comment. Yeah. Please right. do this. Yeah. Literally, send it. be on people's next church. Shameless reviews. Li- literally, mm, yeah. be everywhere that people will be like, who is this person? Let me even see it, Seth. Let's, <laughs> let's hear what. Literally, yeah, yeah, be yeah, yeah. unapologetic. Literally, mm-hmm. in the beginning, I was so shy because I was in Leicester, you know, all the guys, you know, mm-hmm. if they see me acting the same way, I'm still building their repetition. <laughs> <You're nasty. laughs> but I didn't give a heck. Mm-hmm. And that at some point, I'm just like, it's not good I told you to do it and it's aligning it's working like if you're looking at man they'll move on and they'll leave you in the same position mm-hmm. just 
put yourself there. Literally, when you meet people that are in the industry, so obviously don't go and bombard them. This is what yeah. I do. Obviously, when you're having conversation, start build a relationship. Build a relationship or obviously you in this industry, you be- we all benefit well. from each other. But it's very difficult to build lasting relationships with people yeah, in this be industry careful. because people yeah. are very fleeting, especially oh, in the entertainment. It's very transactional. And you can see that from the But that's job. in the mm-hmm. UK though. I, I don't think it's honestly, everywhere. It's everywhere. The US. It's I don't, everywhere. US. I don't know about US, but I know in Nigeria they have like cut. We had we spoke to Koti and I oh, did understand I love what yeah, she I said. Love she said spa. in in Nigeria it's like okay. I I speak to Shanks how far I want to film a video mm. this is the idea but Shanks is filming with her because it's beneficial for him mm. too but I don't think it's transactional it might not be as, for him. as blatantly obvious in Nigeria but yeah. there's a form of transaction but I think there. it works for them a lot it though. works both but ways that's, that's what I'm saying it helps the them they work together yes it helps right. them mm-hmm. there's always a crossover but in the UK it's quite hard in the UK they are very very selective who they work with is it that money has to be involved but or they will not even they will not even look at your side at all. Oh, also, before I forget, as a creative as well, don't go into every space. I can't like get paid, get paid, but from unpaid stuff, that's where you find paid stuff. That's mm, an advice from creative. Right. Get paid because I if agree. I'd literally gone into RS thing, I said, "Are you not gonna pay me for my parents?" That's what I was worried YouTube. about. You know, imagine <laughs> so a lot of the things I've that, learned yeah. and a lot of the people I've met through yeah. that. Mm-hmm. No, because I'm all for getting paid. Honestly, mm-hmm. but that connection is all from yeah. you. A lot of unpaid things you actually see, pay- literally, or is a testament as well. A lot of unpaid things mm-hmm. you see paid things. That's also like, yeah, I agree. Don't be saying, Oh, this one is <laughs> in the beginning. We are just demanding nobody work with you. Listen, guys, it's been great just talking I'm to you and just hearing of your, of your journey yeah. and all the great things you're doing. But are you guys a Gen Z buddy? So- buddy for Christ. <laughs> so- <laughs> Are you, you're you're improving. Sorry, Alice. You're improving on your acting, right? My, oh yeah, my acting. Yeah, I'm learning more because I know the style of acting. Like TikTok acting is not the screen Dif- okay. acting, right. so you have to also be versatile. So I don't want to be box or typecast as mm. comedy. Comedy. I want people to see seriousness. That's why in my Cluster film, guys. there's a little bit. There's a little bit of my acting in my film as well, but going forward, I'll definitely be putting myself more in acting. But I'm learning. You need to constantly add to yourself. So yeah, as that. TikTok accent is different from screen accent, different from theater accent. Nigerian style accent yeah. is different from UK style accent, it's different from American accent. So you just have to learn how to adapt and just not box yourself in one place. So is that is that your goal, just to be an actress? Just to be an actress, yeah. Okay, how about you? And a filmmaker. Like, what's, the, um, what's the final stage of the boss? I What's feel the like boss? this question is so funny to me because I actually don't have like a signpost. Okay, I that's just good. Feel that's like good. It's that's just good. on the basis of as like as long as i just stay true to myself mm. i feel That's like fine. god will always somehow make way and put me in the positions that oh, i need boss. to be but oh, i will boss. be working with big boss like big bosses at Amen. a certain point don't know when that will be but i know that as long as i just stay in like in line with where god wants me to go what he wants me to do i know that whatever that looks like it might be big bosses to everyone right now but i don't I, I, it's not that i'm going with the flow but it's just like I just trust God because yeah. I don't want to kill myself mm. and feel like I won't feel successful, like mm. feel like I haven't achieved something just because I haven't got something because I know that's mm. not the end or do all and there's more to life. Do you know what I well. really like from just talking to you guys is how much you guys have mentioned God. God, in. Like, it's, I'm so, I, it's, it's amazing. It's yeah. very rare you, yeah. you hear that in the industry. Yeah. People are very much like, I've done this by myself, yeah. but I've I'm just loved hearing how much you guys myself. have talked about God and don't let that go away. Yeah. I just, I love it. I think it's what, like, I, I can't stress it enough. As much as obviously I appreciate the praise as well. Thank mm-hmm. you. God bless you guys. It's, 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 it's actually God because I couldn't, like I said, like started in 2022. If I was just to tell you the life changes for me from 2019 till now, mm-hmm. I've dealt with me, Shege. Sure. And the only way I even got through that, forget the film, just mm-hmm. getting through life in itself was because of God. God. Child. Right. Like, Life that's is dealing it. with people. So, <laughs> and then, and then, Do you care? Yeah, like, you only <laughs> see the glamour, but there's yeah. more to it. And, mm. and I think it's very easy for people to say, like, oh my gosh, well done. So in my head, I'm thinking the time when I cried in December Damn. 2022 for a said reason. Mm-hmm. But people are saying, I say in my head, but I'm calm and I'm okay because of God. And it's not to say that I don't have my battles and my relationship mm. with God is like this, because we all know mm. it's like this and like that. Yeah. But because of him, mm-hmm. like, I'm okay. I'm yeah. Because I'm going, of I'm, me. 
I can face tomorrow <laughs> because he lives. That you don't remix so. Look on the screen no, for the lyrics on that. I'm believer, sorry, it's off key, guys. As a believer, though, in everything you do, you have to glorify God in mm. it as well. You have to the tiniest thing because if you feel like you can do it alone, go and do it too. Good mm. luck. Good luck. Cool. Yeah, as guys. If you're my house, bad, we will serve, serve the, the Lord. Lord. Per. Yeah. Guys, on that no, I want us to like wrap up because I'm just conscious of time because yeah. you. Because like, she already has, yeah, has to go. Already has to go on a date. On a date, okay, guys. Yeah, she has to go on a date. I have dinner. I like food. I'm joking. I beg, I beg. She's, no, not joking. No, no. She's not joking. She's not joking. Do you want a Gen Z date or a millennial I date? Be- oh. That's a, good, that's a good question. Talk your stuff, girl. You don't know who's watching. God will find my purpose. Like, per- the person that God will help me fulfill purpose on earth. Are that. you going on a date with a millennial or a Gen Z? Oh. I, have, I actually have a work dinner. <laughs> okay. I actually have a work dinner. Literally. Yeah. Um, But ladies, it's been lovely talking to you guys. Honestly, you. I've learned so much from you guys. I'm a millennial and I'm learning from you on guys. The, <laughs> on that millennial Gen Z, which generation do you guys prefer? Mm. Um, I was going to talk about that before. Our parents' generation mm-hmm. or we me, as millennials? To be honest, I feel like different aspects, you know. Yeah, no, okay, what are the aspects? Okay. I'm saying in terms of being audacious and just not just accepting anything and like, like knowing why, asking why for everything. I'll say us. Mm-hmm. No, no, do not. You no, have, he said skip us. Skip oh. you guys. Which from ones the do millennial you prefer? Or our millennials parents or the, uh, the ones above I us? I don't like you, Lord. Oh, oh, I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, yeah, no, no, truth. <laughs> no, no, okay, it's a I lie. Feel like different. I feel like our parents is more like. I don't know how to say it's community. I love mm, their community okay, that type part, stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I love how God is this. Even some of the aunties, auntie for me, I think we'll say like, you are wicked. You are wicked. But I like that. But millennials, uh, people yeah, just like to attack Gen Z all the time. Every day, Gen Z, Gen Z, Gen Z. What is the truth though? On like, Twitter, you know, yeah, what? Ah, this Gen Z just resigned. I don't think I know, <laughs> So I what, do you, what do you like, what do you like about us as millennials? Like our generation? I feel like you guys, I don't like, they paved the way though. In yeah, I was gonna, that's if they didn't start say. softening stuff, I feel like I would have picked it up. Yeah. So I'll say, yeah. They, they might not like, be as loud yeah. as we are, They're but lenient. they did stuff and they set the way yeah. for us to be like, right, okay, we can do it. I can do it too. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. What about you? In terms of... Which generation do you like? I feel like... My one's not on the basis of social media because I wasn't really on Twitter like that. Mm-hmm. So my experience is based on people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With millennials, you guys used to piss me off best because you don't used to <laughs> chat to me and talk down on me. Like, Ooh. respect my team. Like, millennials but, complain too much about, oh, the other aunties respect, if, respect. But they be doing it the most. Like, a lot of millennials. But I, I do well love, then. I love, <laughs> like, I learned a lot from them. Like I feel like I learned, like, you know, really like, I learned a lot from them. But a lot of them really was giving me a headache. I don't know why I did As long as you're learning, I, that's all that matters. You know, <laughs> but wait, do you have, did you have guys moving to you that were millennials or now? Of course. Okay, she's <laughs> here. <laughs> Do you see all Listen, Um, uh, Audrey uh, is going to tell you. Don't worry. You know don't worry. Don't worry. Don't um, worry. I but, think whoever moves to me moves to me. I don't know. Uh, Energy. But millennials. <laughs> shout millennials. I like I like millennials because millennials are very. I like you guys. You guys are. You guys. The things. If the someone told me that twenty, I. You mean Gen Zs? Sorry, Gen Zs. Imagine. From, at the age that you guys are doing with the kind of stuff that you guys are there, like <laughs> you guys are being very You're audacious. Very, very, I like, love that. If someone tell me at twenty something years, I'll message big brand like Supermodel. Like, ah, I want to do film. I want to do a film. Come and sponsor. I don't like, think it's just about brands and stuff like that. It's just the way you guys question yeah. things. You push the boundaries. You push like, the boundaries. You, you, you literally don't. You're not yes people, and I yeah, love I'm that so yes much. People, and I, I know they roast you guys like, oh, a millionaire gets mental health, they quit their job. <laughs> Why not? Mental health matters, you know. <laughs> so very close our parents' generation. Number one, very ah, scared cats. They, they really number one, the thing is, they they're refuse, very scared. They ref- yeah, they refuse to unlearn a lot of things. Like, mm-hmm. At least we us. We've learned, we've learned and unlearned. I think it comes from a place of just like security as well. Because for a lot of them come here, security matters. They didn't come here to suffer. Mm. (laughs) They came here for security. So even even now, as I speak to my parents about it, they still don't feel as secure despite Mm. the achievements that everyone makes. So, you know, and I understand it. Mm -hmm. And I think for them, they obviously want what's best for us. So I never take offense to it. But my mom is still like, "Ah, are you sure? I didn't pay you. My parents been like, like, you know, like, yeah, like, where's mine? They're very, like, very traditional. They're like, okay, that's good. But 
Are um, you sure? I prefer Gen Z. Yeah. So. My parents literally act, well, most times, some of my parents act like Gen Zs. Yeah, they, they are me and your mom, they're very. They're very, if it, people, they're, they're very people hip. see my mom as well, they'll be like, oh, yeah. I should ask your mom. Mm-hmm. People expect my mom to be this big auntie from somewhere with strong your backs. And, oh, mm-hmm. that's my mom. Oh, which one do you prefer, Alice? Me? No, I like my generation. Mm-hmm. No, no, no cool. outside, you have to remove Outside of mine? Our generation is rubbish. I like Gen Z's. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, uh-huh. I don't like our generation. I don't know about you. Because uh-huh. number one thing is, I feel like our generation, we were the ones that started glamorizing material things too much. We were the ones. It started no, from No, I, I can agree with that. I can the agree with two, that. Like material things, worldly things, mm. moving away from God. It's our generation that started that rubbish. I can like, agree with that. The, our generation also ruined relationships. To like when yeah, you, you lot, you lot, you lot. Yes, yeah, yeah, it was yeah, our generation. Still, yeah. And it was yeah, the trauma that we carried. turned it into yeah, a yeah, transactional yeah. thing. Yes, this was like, too many things have just become transactional. It's from our generation that you But also, guys, let's not forget that the environment, life. We were in lockdown. We were in so many <laughs> we things. So lockdown. we were. No, no, you guys did lockdown <laughs> as children. You guys were kids. We were, we we were, as, we, like, we were adults. adults. We had mad. jobs. You we see had what you guys were doing? Now, that's what we did. Can't get a job for. <laughs> Do you get early? Nah, yeah. Burn that. That will. Nah. That might exactly. Like, so we we like, had to hustle like, and get through. But yeah. I must say, I really like Gen Zs. I love Gen I love the audaciousness. I don't like our generation. Everything you guys stand for. And I don't like our parents' generation, but I love. You want a little more. You want a little more. I, I said, you're a wife. I'll be girlfriend. It's not millennial. I, that's what I'm saying. They are very, very... Oh they, they pay too much attention to material things. It's, yeah, it's the, the reality, uh, though. You have not found them. They pay, you have not found they them. They pay too much. Like, it's so much worldly they things. they want material things. I'm a chop like, <laughs> But don't chop it in someone's Hey. Oh, ladies. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed talking to you guys. But Amazing, we do need lovely. to wrap up. Um... Before we end, we like to end our episodes by saying this is where Lagos meets London, Child, and it is always Mahala. I was gonna Mahala. play a game with them, but there, there's I'll, no I'm time. How much longer do you have? Again. There's no time. Alright, you see the time. Oh. Hey, exactly, uh, yeah, exactly. exactly. Us again. No, Allah, no Allah. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. after 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 your 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 next production, we'll yeah, we'll bring you back. Okay. Yeah, we'll yeah. talk yeah. about it. We'll yeah. Nice, nice, nice. We want this, this place where... to be like nice baby show for like all star after Nigerian and London, I where all it. the creators like they come, mm-hmm. so you I can be yourself. Out. You guys mm-hmm. are doing incredible as well. Oh, oh thank, thank you, you. So thank guys, you. Subscribing, comment, like. Tell them you said before the start. Do, like, do it again. Yeah. <laughs> <Listen> <laughs> <out>. <laughs> Anyways, this is where Lagos meets London, and but when we end our episodes, we like to say Lagos meets London, Wahala. So we are gonna get you guys to say Wahala. I want to hear you be loud, okay? <laughs> All right, yeah. you're going to say <laughs> Wahala. <laughs> Wahala. <laughs> All right, Lagos meets London. Wahala. 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 Nice, nice, nice. Thank you, thank you so thank much. You.